It's recording. It's recording. It's doing its job. I should do mine. Hey YouTubers, welcome to episode of Madeline Minute. What's a Madeline Minute? It's any increment of time between one and seven minutes where we get to know each other a little bit better. This week I wanted to be really open with you and share something that's pretty personal to me. I have a learning disability called dyslexia. If you don't know what dyslexia is, it is a learning disability that affects how I process information. Information goes in, it gets kind of jumbled in there, and when it comes out, it's not always how it went in. I like to paint the picture of a waffle and spaghetti. So somebody who doesn't have a learning disability, their brain is gonna look like a waffle. It has compartments, it's very organized, a one, two, three step process will make total sense to them, and somebody who has dyslexia is going to look like a plate of spaghetti. To the outside world, it's gonna look very, very messy, everything's touching. How I'll solve a problem might be, I'll start with step one, and then I'll move to step three, add a step four, go back to the step two, but I'm gonna get the same answer as you. It may not be as efficient, but it makes sense in my brain. Dyslexia has made a lot of things hard for me when it comes to spelling, talking. <laughs> I used to stutter when I was little, so I have spelling issues, reading issues, math issues, just a lot of stuff in school was really, really hard for me. For the longest time when I was growing up, I was very frustrated with the fact that I had dyslexia. I thought that it meant I was slower than everybody else. I couldn't do the same kind of problems as people, I couldn't keep up with my classmates. I got really mad at myself. At one point, I just stopped. And when I stopped beating myself up over this learning disability that I have, I started seeing all the benefits. Because I'm constantly problem solving, trying to come up with new creative ways to solve a problem, I feel like it has helped me tremendously with being a creative person, especially with songwriting. The idea behind songwriting is to find a way to say something that's already been said, but in a completely new way with a twist on it. And I feel like that is exactly what I do all day, every day with dyslexia. So I have so much practice with it. Songwriting to me is just my zone. It just makes sense for me. Also because of dyslexia, I've had to work with this disability all of my life. It's never gonna go away. You know, being that committed to working with something has made me a super, super hard worker. There are a lot of people who told me that because I have dyslexia, I was never gonna be able to have good grades. I was never gonna love reading. It was always gonna be hard for me. And I used that as fuel. And I actually graduated number two in my class with straight A's. Even then I had people who told me it's not even possible that you have dyslexia because you got such good grades. Don't put limits on yourself along with the dyslexia and maybe even because of the dyslexia. I have some serious social anxiety, a ton. When I'm stressed or tired or hungry or nervous, it like amplifies all of the effects of dyslexia. One of the number one most frustrating things about me in social situations is my word recall. You know, when you're talking to somebody and you just can't come up with the right words, and you know you know the words, but you just can't find them. That to me stresses me out so much when it comes to interviews, because I know how I want to answer the question, and then I get asked the question on the spot, and then I kind of like freeze up and don't always have the right words. They don't always know the right questions to ask or the right replies, and I feel like there's this like war going on in my head of like me trying to like get it together and then I can't and then I'm frustrated and then I get frustrated and then I want to go into a corner and I want to leave and I don't want to be there anymore and I don't want to talk to anybody. <sighs> so as you can see, social situations really stress me out, which maybe you wouldn't have guessed based off of the career that I've picked and what I do. Even though my natural state is to stay in my room and write songs, that's my happy place, I love hanging out with friends. I love having deep, meaningful conversations. I also love meeting Because being in my room all day writing songs is fun, but knowing that those songs that I've been working so hard on and putting so much time and energy into have affected another person, it allows me to see the whole circle. And that's honestly all I want to do with my work. I guess the biggest reason that I wanted to make this video was to A, be an advocate for the fact that even if you have something in your life, even if it's not a learning disability, whatever it is that you feel like your weakness is, don't let yourself or other people put limitations on what you can do because of that. If you can learn to work with it, maybe you can turn a weakness into a strength. You know, stop fighting yourself and you start learning to embrace who you are 100%, it's a much better situation. At least personally for me, I've been so much happier now that I've just, I'm aware and I'm also learning every day how to work with it. The biggest reason I wanted to make this video is to give you a nice big picture of why I am the way that I am so that when you come out to the meet and greets and meet me or you see me at the mall and you come up and say hi, I might come off as quiet and shy, 
but I actually love meeting you. I'm not quiet because I don't want you to come up to me. It just, it might take a full minute for me to like calm down. I will open up, I promise, I promise, I promise. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that by the end of this video, you have a better understanding of who I am as a person. What I want you to do is in the comments below, I want you to tell me what your daily struggle is and how you're learning to deal with it because trust me, your comments below, somebody could read it and it can mean a lot to them. And the cool thing is that we can work through our struggles together. And that's my favorite part about YouTube. If you have any questions about the dyslexia also, about my learning disability, I am super, super open about it and you can leave those in the comments below and I will answer those questions for you as well. Um, I think that's enough. For this video yeah okay i'm gonna end this video i'll wrap this video see you guys next time bye